the protectionism will only end up hurting the U.S. jobs and the economy. That's the warning from General Electric's John Rice. Speaking exclusively to CNBC TV, it is Shireen Bhan Rice said India is on the right track and call for the creation of an export council to boost trade. One thing that we've recommended is the establishment of an export credit agency. There are 50 countries in the world that have export credit banks they use to support export-led business from their countries, and we think India should be one of those. Is the cost of doing business still intimidating or as intimidating as it was? Better. No question that the frictional costs, uh, moving goods around, the GST proposal that we talked about before, are all going to help India continue to progress. And I think that should be the point. Uh, lots of progress, but at the end of the day, this is a global competition. And, and the competition is, is with, with China, with, with Indonesia, with countries around the world. Uh, the key to this over the long run is productivity. For instance, by 2020, what will be the size of the India business given the opportunities you see today? Well, we'd like to think that we can grow here at significant single-digit to double-digit rates. If the economy is growing at 6 or 7 percent and, and we're in basic infrastructure businesses, we think our growth rate over time should be uh, a multiple of that, a one or one and a half times that rate. Uh, we have uh, long cycle businesses, so in aviation and transportation where we book a multi-billion dollar uh, locomotive deal one year, we don't repeat that mm -hmm. next year or the year after. So it's you have to measure this over time, but certainly an ability, an ability to grow at significant single digit rates or maybe low double digit rates is, is not beyond our expectation. Uh, there is a perception of globalization being a bad word. Mm -hmm. The world seems to be moving towards deglobalization, if I could call it that. So what kind of pressure will that put on the business model that companies like yours have followed for so many years? Well, if we can't ship jet engines from the United States to our airlines around the world, we're going to employ fewer people in the United States. It's as, it's as simple as that. I think we have to make sure everybody understands that. We have to do a better job of telling a story so, so people don't see globalization as a threat, because you're exactly right. The message now is that globalization is bad, and per, some form of protectionism and populism is good. Uh, the, we have to be the ones, and companies like us have to be the ones that tell the story in a way that people understand that there, there really are benefits to this. And we've got a lot of jobs at stake in a lot of countries in Europe, in the, like, in the, like the United States and Western Europe, that require our ability to participate in global markets. Mm -hmm. Would you say that this is one of the key risks facing business today? I'd say it is a risk, for sure. Um, you know, we're, it's one that I think we're equipped to deal with because we've been spreading our wings, if you will, and making sure that we've got the resources and capabilities and manufacturing and servicing agility mm -hmm. to do lots of different things in lots of different countries so that we can respond uh, when and where we have to if the walls go up.